Mr. President, thank you very much. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. <laughs> the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. The Taliban are out in full force. They took over the presidential palace. We can guarantee their safety if they wish to leave. <laughs> Any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling with none whatsoever. This morning, journalists pushed U.S. Secretary of State Tony Blinken on whether there's a parallel here. Kabul fell yesterday. Where is the president? There were chaotic scenes as U.S. troops at Kabul airport strove to evacuate Americans. There is no plan for the president to do that or to return from his presidential retreat at Camp David. Welcome back to another episode. You already know what today's jam-packed episode is going to be all about. Biden's single-handed victory over Kabul, Afghanistan. We were clear-eyed about the risks. We planned for every contingency, but I always promised the American people that I will be straight with you. The Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. Truth is, this did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. Taliban fighters have flooded the capital. Smiling and victorious, they took the city of six million people in a matter of hours. And of course, where the Afghan president uh, was uh, the one time ruler of the lands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh la la. Oh, well. King in the castle, king in the castle. Have a chair, I have a chair.